Team, welcome back to another episode of Coffee Fanvay's Pit Stop. I'm Dave Williams and this pit stop is sponsored by Three Legged Thing and Toxic Camera Bags. And today I want to tell you how to get a Northern Lights time lapse. Firstly, you need to support your camera and I use a Three Legged Thing tripod to keep everything nice and firm and rock steady so that there is no movement with the framing of the shot. And I point it at a nice part of the sky where the aurora is going to appear or is already dancing around. The settings I need will be anywhere from 9000 ISO up all the way up to somewhere like 51200 depending on how much ambient light there is and how much light there is coming from the aurora. And the shutter speed will be anywhere from a half a second to a tenth of a second depending on how much movement there is and how much I want to capture of that movement. And then in quite simply, activate time lapse mode on the camera and you end up with something awesome like this. And it's all thanks to those settings and the tripod giving us that firm base and that solid platform that we can get these amazing time lapse shots of the Northern Lights. And you can do this for stars and clouds and all sorts of things where you want a cool time lapse of things moving throughout the night sky. And that is today's pit stop. It's a quick photography tip. Sponsored by Three-Legged Thing and Toxic Camera Bags, I'm Dave Williams from Finland. I'll see you next week.